Hello everyone and welcome back. It might sound weird with what I'm about to say, but I've never covered the Fallen Sunstorm and Centrifuge builds at all, even though it was super popular a few seasons back. Now that I've played with it, it's actually comparable to using Crown of Tempers and Trinity Ghoul, a combo that can absolutely slay high end game content with ease. So now I'm going to show you my version of the build and my general thoughts as to why players should use this more compared to Crown of Tempers. With this build, you will get enhanced Aeonic Traces, Arc Blind Effect via Centrifuge, a fast ability to regen all round, a flexible fragments to use, and a simple kit that doesn't require end game items if you wish. So let's make a start shall we? To start you're going to want to have Arc Soul where casting your Rift will grant you and allies an Arc Soul, while Amplified your Arc Soul is quite faster. Then you want Electric Static Mind where defeat a target with arc abilities or jointed targets, create an Ionic Trace. Creating Ionic Traces make you Amplified. The Arc Soul along with Ionic Traces effect will now allow us to have supercharged Arc Souls at all times. This will then be used against the minor to major threats. This here will allow us to get Ionic Traces faster and also become Amplified at a faster rate as well. For the Fragments, Sparkle Shock where your arc grenades jolt targets, a spark of magnitude where lingering grenade durations are increased, a spark of ions where defeating a jointed target creates ionic traces, and spark of discharge where arc weapons have a chance to create ionic traces. It is recommended to have as many ways of producing ionic traces just so that our fallen sunstar effect can see full use. With grenades such as storm or pulse being active, this with spark of ions will make the build produce enough ion traces to give us back around half the needed energy to refund our grenades or other abilities. Applying a spark of discharge will also help bolster the area more, which overall will kickstart our need of centrifuge effect and go about unleashing its full potential. For modern stats, both resilience and discipline will be the main stats to focus on for today. We do also have recovery at tier 6 for a 1 minute 3 second cooldown upon using rifts, which will be helpful for the cause, but this will vary from player to player depending on the mod and armor stats you may be rolling with. I highly recommend you have bolstering detonation and insulation mods to help bolster this area further. Resilience at tier 10 will grant us a 30% damage reduction while playing in game content. This will be enough to survive certain one shot hits depending on who we face and how we face them. If you have the room, it's also recommended to add the harmonic resistance mod when facing anything arc, as the 15% damage reduction via arc hits will allow you to survive Boomer Knight's hits more often. Discipline at tier 10 will grant us a 1 minute 1 second cooldown when using storm grenades or pulse grenades. The grenades have a good coverage and damage against a large group of enemies in one spot, so using this to gather multiple IR traces as we play will be beneficial for the build. Having the grenade kickstart mod for the 34.4% energy regen will massively boost this one stat further and thus allow us to utilize the heavier grenade cooldowns with glee. Outside of this, having the bomber mod is also helpful when collecting all the power, but you don't really need to add anything else as Iron Traces, which are now buffed by Fallen Sunstar, will grant further grenade energy return. For the armor charge to retain the following system we have in play, charged up will allow us to hold on to more armor charges as we play and collect them. Having the harmonic siphon, elemental charge, reaper, and powerful attraction mod will grant additional option for getting orbs of power and charge for our armor set. Then having the Ashes Axis mod will greatly help with getting our super up and utilizing it against bosses to general enemies within our vicinity. For weapons, I have the Centrifuge Exotic AR which feels amazing to use when focused on a fully amplified build. The weapon feels good to fire from and also does relatively good damage without any buffs applied to it yet. Upon completing the catalyst for the weapon, it becomes a lot more active with triggering the arc line effect on targets which in high end game content can absolutely destroy major threats that suddenly appear. If you have not gotten the catalyst completed just of yet, I would highly recommend you get that done first before fully trying out the build as it does help. If not, then do give the build a try nonetheless. Heavy, we have the Swarm Adept with Dynamic Sway Reduction on Vorpool. Not much to fully break down with the weapon as any arc heavy is suitable to be used here. Generally the weapon is handy for taking out their VIP targets quickly or if your other weapons do run out of ammo. 
is viable enough for the build as we are only effective at mid to short ranges so having this available for longer distances does make it great when taking on mini bosses to bosses as the ammo size is good and damage is moderate. A build that utilizes the effectiveness of Arc Jolt and Ion Traces tend to be the most lethal and best counters towards non-stop wave based enemies that continuously appear. Although there are better options when it comes to taking out multiple enemies at once, Arc provides the best all round effectiveness without the user needing to do much. Having Ion Traces come to you and bolster your abilities further allows us to stay at a safe distance while continuously pocking our Arc abilities. At the same time, by utilizing Fallen Sunstar and Centrifuge Exotic effects together, you can almost create a windmill of Jolt, Ion Traces and Blind Effect in a small selected group of enemies. As such a feat allows our team to focus on the more VIP targets such as champions and mini bosses, while the other effects will neutralize and confuse the minor enemies in tow. Oddly, this is a build that was pretty popular when it first came out, but I never covered it in depth until now. I've used both exotics, respectively, in other builds, but never together, considering that Centrifuge's exotic trait does become more active once we become amplified. At the same time, I have found that Centrifuge has the right stats to where it doesn't feel too weak to use in end game, but once ramped up, it can be a really good crowd controller with simple ease. Just getting these ion traces going will allow weapons to be faster and harder hitting as time goes by, while well, at most allowing us to use our more time invested grenades such as pulse grenades with ease. Now I will say that having some respect placed into our rifts will also massively help, as the arc souls can kickstart the build without the need of activating your other abilities as of yet. One caveat to this though is how you go about having enough energy invested into your rifts so it doesn't affect your other stats too much. Since we do have an aspect of mod to help us with our tier 6 stat, we can comfortably get away from any mess that might appear. If your stat's a bit lower though, then you may need to see what other extra mods can be added, or by applying the Spark of Focus mod may be more beneficial than normally used before. Overall, the build does what many arc builds do, but does it on a more extreme and higher level than most builds we are used to. It's a great alternative to have if you don't have Crown of Tempest Exotic just of yet, but want something near suitable that can be easily replicated. Great for all content in mind, is definitely something I will be revisiting in the near future. So I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. Well, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and I highly recommend you check out my other content in the given playlist. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you again soon.